live in Squamish. I grew up in the prairies, and I swear it only made me love mountains more. In Alberta, you can see the mountains, but you're not in them. So you're like, all you want to do is get out there. That's where we're the happiest. That's how we met, was on the mountain. Whether it's at a next game contest, or out snowmobiling together, or Rory's out doing a heli ski trip somewhere. It's what our lives are, is being on the hill. And, and there's a reason for that. It's amazing. It's where we met, it's where we play, we live, and... Hopefully where we die. Sarah Burke is the winningest, most decorated female free skier in the history of the sport. In a sport where contests only featured boys, Sarah helped change minds, mold opinions, and spearheaded the inclusion of female competitions. Every female skier owes a debt of gratitude to Sarah Burke. We're hanging out in LA. Yeah. We came down for the ESPYs. I was nominated for Female Action Sport Athlete of the Year. Dirk, what's his name? Like yeah. overpowered. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty crazy to see all these huge athletes. Yeah, it is. It's crazy. Some of you don't really know their names even, but you know their faces. I, like, I know too. this guy. My dream was always to win the Olympics. That's what I wanted to do. Sarah basically got girls in skiing events, didn't have girls. I was skipping <laughs> World Cups to come to the X Games and events with Sarah. You've done so well and got all these medals. It's huge. It's so sick that skiing half pipes in the Olympics. It's so cool that my wife gets to go. She's a gold medal hopeful. <laughs> <laughs> I grew up in Ontario, a small town, and started skiing when I was about five years old. I went to summer camp, started off at Momentum, and that's the first year when I met Rory, so I would have been 14 years old. My dad was I'll get you to the ski contest. I'll do anything I can. I'll sell all my stuff as long as I can get you to the next one. And was going to contests and talking to the organizers, trying to get in, trying to compete against the boys. And sometimes it would work out, and sometimes it was... You just forerun. I'd forerun, run and I'd jump before the boys. It was a lot of sad calls to my parents, not understanding why I could beat half those boys, but they wouldn't let me in the contest. I remember sending emails to X Games. You guys got girls yet? <laughs> Kept pushing with X Games and ESPN, trying to get us in, let us in, let us in. They finally did. Come on, Sarah! Come on! Come on, Sarah! Yes, sir! There you go. A few years later, got a That's couple huge. of them under my belt, so. It's huge. Sarah Burke won X Games gold in 2007, 8, 9, and 11. It took me a long time to ask you to marry me. You asked my dad in September. I asked her dad all proper style. We were like hugging it out on the beach. <laughs> it was awesome. I went to go out to the spot, but it was all snowed in. I couldn't get my dirt bike in there. I was gonna ride it in the snow. I get there in the plane and fly by. I hiked up there, I didn't get home till like four in the morning. Wasn't that stoked on it. I asked Sarah to go flying the next day and she's like, yeah, I got a hair appointment. I was like, oh, whatever. So it was probably two months later before I got it figured out again. I went up with my friend Trent and we rode it in the snow. And I got Sarah to come flying with me and I did a buzz by. I was like, look, who reads it? She said, said, marry me, Sarah. Looks at me all confused. And then I like opened the ring box and, I <laughs> and asked her to marry me. She said, yes, it's pretty sweet. We get along so well and we both let each other live our dreams. I'm happy for everything that Sarah does and she's happy for everything that I do because I do strange things. <laughs> you do really strange things. <laughs> I will be entertained for the rest of my life being married to him. I feel pretty lucky. Oh. <laughs>